Hey, what is up guys? It's the Ghost Hacker here, and I am back for another video, and I know it has been a very long time since I've made a video, but um, I actually ran into some pretty big computer issues, but I've got that all figured out now, or at least I hope I got that all figured out now, and um, I finally am at the point that I can actually start making videos again, and I know guys, it's been a long time, it really sucks, I am not happy about it myself, but um... I'm back to do more and hopefully not going anywhere again for a long time. Alright, so today obviously we're back in Visual Studios 2013. And today we're gonna be um I'm gonna be showing you how to use the progress bar. So we're just gonna hop into this by going to file and new project. You guys know how to do this. You you can name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna name it uh you oops. YouTube tut. Okay, whatever. Oh wait, right. damn it. <laughs> um, I'll just name it tut. <laughs> um, but you can name it whatever you want. You don't have to put it the same name as me. It doesn't matter. And you can put this in a pre-existing project. You don't have to make a new one, obviously. All right, so here we are. We got a little form. I'm gonna change the size size of it. And um, if I accidentally make any spell mistakes or anything like that, it's um. It's actually because my microphone, is, it's kind of like over my keyboard a little bit, it's kind of hard to see it. So I kind of have to type without having to look at the keyboard, and um, I'm not that great at typing yet, so yeah. Just uh, let me off there. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to need four buttons. Alright, now we're going to copy and paste those. Now I have got four buttons. Alright, I'm just going to line them up nicely. That'll work. Alright, so now we're going to move the buttons down. Put them right here. I'm going to actually make them bigger just for the fun of it. Okay, I'm going to rename these buttons. I'm going to name this one 25%. I'm going to name this one... Um... 50% Can you guess what I'm gonna name this one? <laughs> 75% And finally 100 100% Alright, now we got that Now obviously we're gonna need a progress bar There it is I'll just place the default size and I'll change it Alright, so obviously this is not how it's going to look for you. I'm sure you guys can use this in a lot better way. Oops. Um, I'm just doing a very ugly example, pretty much. Alright, so here's our progress bar. Here's our basic little setup with the buttons. And now, we are going to make it so whenever you click this button, I'm sure you guys have already guessed this, but when you click the 25%, it's going to put the progress bar to 25%, and if you click the 75, it'll put it to 75, and so on for all the buttons. Alright, so we're going to do that by double clicking the first button. And we're going to do progress. Oh, I think my... Okay. I don't know what happened there. Progress bar 1 dot value equals and then 25. You don't have to put the percent. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's the same for every single one except for the 25. But I would highly recommend you do not copy and paste it because it would be better if you actually get the feel for typing it and actually type it out. The only reason why I'm doing it just so I don't have to waste a bunch of time in the video and waste your guys' time. Alright, so there we go. We got it. Now, we don't got no errors. You can see it. It's all perfect. And now we can go ahead and start our application and see if this works. Alright, so here is our little program, and if you click 25%, look at that, just like magic, it's at 25%. If you click 50, it's at 50, 75, 75, and 100. Now you can go back down, and it'll go back down like that, but it won't do the little loading thing, it'll just jump down there. Um, so that's pretty cool, we got the progress bar to work. Now in this spot right here, this is 100% useless, like this ain't gonna be used for anything. But in some, oops, I'm not going to do that. In some cases, 
you can actually like say if you're just making a small program say you just want to move like um say five files in the code you can actually just um i'll just go down here and do an example okay say um i'm not gonna actually type all the code i'll probably just do something small but um say you got like a file so file one now that's not actually the code to move it obviously and then you can just do the progress bar then say set to 25 then you got file 2 and then after that put it to um, the progress bar to 50 then file 4 put it to 75 then file the you know 5 put it to 100 or whatever like you know set up however you want and um, it'll just load it and it'll work pretty much I know that's kind of like a bad example just to say it like that and if you don't understand what I mean there, it's perfectly fine, don't worry about it. And uh, I'll probably do more tutorials on this, and you'll probably understand it more later. But yeah, I know this was a kind of short video. I just wanted to quickly make this video, and I'm probably going to upload again tomorrow, or the next day, because I want to get a lot, of, a lot of videos out, because I've been gone for so long, and um, it really sucks that I hadn't been gone for that long. But I'm back, and I'm hoping there won't be any more problems so i would really appreciate it guys if you could go ahead and like maybe leave a like if this video helped you and if it didn't like you leave a dislike and if you could go check out my website or something and actually guys i've been using twitter a lot lately to leave updates and stuff like that so if you want to follow me on twitter i'll put it in the description it's just at the ghost hacker so you can go follow me there and you'll get the latest updates and everything so that's pretty cool but if you don't want to do that stuff it's no big deal no no hard feelings so yeah guys until next time i hope you guys have a great day and bye bye guys